for me, I would say it's an obligation to remember my friends who passed. When I got back from Afghanistan, Remembrance Day was really hard for me. I always think back to the, the guys that I went to school with that aren't with us anymore. My squadron lost 83 bombers. Eight or nine boys never played. To keep their memories ready, to keep their memories alive, to keep their memories uh, with us, we have to remember them. Knowing the sacrifices that some of my soldiers have made, the ultimate sacrifice in some cases, um, Remembrance Day is, is, is a, it brings it all together for us. Remembrance Day for me is probably the most important day of the year. Any things? Everything. When I went to Afghanistan, um, Going out the gate the first time I was like, this is, this is it. Our death toll for the police was around 70 to 100 police officers a month. You're gone. And I'm here, one of the lucky ones. I rushed in to pick him up, and I stepped on the line and then I went up. These five Afghan women I had walked by they unveiled their faces and they, they walked by and they waved. Them doing that really showed us that we were doing our job and that they didn't have any fear of the Taliban. Whenever I see young people, I educate them, show them what is the importance of uh, being in services. In Remembrance Day, we pay tribute to those who stepped up and did what needed to be done. I think the young folks of today have, have got to realize that it's not about warmongering, it's not about, you know, anything like that. It's the fact that, you know, there are so many people in the world that are helpless, that need protection. Give a little thanks to celebrate them and to, to feel for whatever hardships they've gone through, basically because they've done it for these young people so that they can live. It has to be told on the emotional side so that they understand that uh, there was a reason for it. The reason for it was to uh, is basically to protect our, uh, our families and our country. I'm really honored when the kids come out and want to shake my hand and say thank you for what you did. Remembrance Day is about remembering those who signed up and essentially wrote a check to say, I'm giving you everything. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the annual Remembrance Day ceremony at St. Paul's Intermediate. Bonjour tout le monde et bienvenue à la ceremonie annuelle du jour de l'Amerciste. Today, we are gathering as a school community to spend some time on reflecting on what Remembrance Day really means. C'est un jour important qui nous aide à ce souvenir. Please stand for O Canada. <laughs> Thank you. 
Because Remembrance Day is so important, we always participate in the Royal Canadian Legion Poppy Campaign. The Legions bring in enough poppies for everyone in the school, and we collect money to donate to the program. The money from the Poppy Campaign is used to support Canada's veterans and their families. Every dollar we donated goes to the Legion's programs for veterans, so it helps them after they finish their service. It's a great way to show our appreciation for their work. We want to thank everyone for being so generous again this year. If you didn't get a chance to donate yet, there are collection cans all over town, at grocery stores and corner stores, so there's always a way to help. November 11th, the most unforgettable day of the year. A message from the Government of Canada. Every year at St. Paul's, we do something called Treats for Troops. We donate some of our Halloween candy and then make up treat bags to send to the Canadian Force, Canadian Force members who are serving away from home. As always, everyone was very generous and we have awesome treat bags to send. We put a little note inside that says who it's from and sometimes the people who receive them send us a note or a postcard. They say that getting those treats really help them feel better when they're missing their homes. This year we have 50 bags of treats ready to go and the Family Military Resource Center will make sure so they are sent out. Once your candy's been handed in, students volunteer to package it up and then we make our donation to the Military Family Resource Center. Every year we get mail from all over the world showing us where our packages have been delivered. Last year we received several pieces of mail from CFB Alert, which is practically at the North Pole. We also get messages on our school's Twitter feed letting us know who's received our candy this year. Good morning St. Paul's Intermediate. It's Colleen from the Gander Military Family Resource Center. I just came to pick up all the wonderful treats for the Treats for Troops program. And I just wanna to say to you that on behalf of all the members, the Canadian Armed Forces members who will receive these treats, thank you so very much. I wish we could be here in person this year to celebrate uh, Remembrance Day or to remember Remembrance Day with you this year. Hopefully next year we'll be back again. Wishing you all a great day and thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart. Le jour de souvenir est l'occasion de souligner le courage et le sacrifice de ceux et celles qui ont servi leur patrie. Notre classe a fait des affiches pour la Légion Royale Canadienne. Grâce à ces activités, nous nous souvenons des vétérans canadiens morts en service. En ce jour de souvenir, c'est le moment de marquer une pause et de rendre hommage aux Canadiens qui ont répondu à la paix. In 2015, the Ennis sisters wrote and recorded a tribute to the soldiers who were lost in World War I. The video tells the story of a mother who learns her son has died far away from his home in Newfoundland during the Great War. There's comfort in a prayer I find Though these candles honor you They burn for those you left behind 
Christmas. I will, I promise. Please stand for the last post, a moment of silence, reveille, and the ode of remembrance. Since the mid-19th century, the last post has been performed at funeral and military services for all who have given their lives in service of their nation. With the notes of the last post, a soldier is able to rest in peace.
They went with their songs to the battle. They were young and straight of limb, true of eyes, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds unaccounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not wear them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We remember. They are our fathers, brothers, mothers and sisters, neighbors, heroes. Canada's veterans, their courage, service and sacrifice will never be forgotten. On November 11th, let's remember them. Visit Canada.ca slash remember them. We are almost at the end of this year's Remembrance Day assembly. Before the choir sings the Ode to Newfoundland, we'd like to say thank you to all the students who took leadership roles in this morning's assembly. Merci aux élèves qui ont tenu un rôle clé pendant notre ceremony. We ask everyone to keep in mind that although Remembrance Day is once a year, we should always be thankful for the sacrifices that others have made so that we can be free. We ask you to make a commitment to remember by considering these words. They were young, as we were young, they served giving freely of themselves. To them we pledge amid the winds of time to carry their torch and never forget. We will remember them. That we forget. Thank you for your participation in today's Remembrance Day Assembly. While we get ready to start the Remembrance Day activity in our classrooms, please watch the video for No Sky Too High by Terry Kelly. This song, released in 2020, is a tribute to the Royal Canadian Air Force and is especially fitting for Remembrance Day in Gander, a community that grew around the airport in World War II. sky and imagine a time when birds and celestials ruled regions on high when childlike fascination unbridled imagination gave mortals the wings to fly a story of flight tells of joy and lost life progress innovation vulnerability and might wooden wings wax and feathers seal the flight plan forever and the rcaf keeps that vision inside and there's no sky too high no land that's no ocean too wide no forest too far but we're bound for the stars there's no Bold, a 
guiding force to the Air Force through service at home. All across the nation, there's pride and admiration, cause the way are at home, we're together and we know. Comrades, stay strong when missions are won. We fight through adversity and operate as one. The path stars takes heads, guts, and hearts, and the RCAF soars above and beyond.